This is video one of four for unit one, Introduction to Forensic Science. Our objectives for this unit are going to be to identify and illustrate the roles, functions, and responsibilities of different forensic science disciplines, to illustrate the history of forensic science and recognize the major contributors in the development of forensic science, to compare and contrast the roles of forensic scientists and crime scene investigators, to distinguish between criminalistics and criminology, and to explore and demonstrate an understanding of the terminology and the procedures employed in the criminal justice system. This video will discuss criminology, criminal justice, and forensic science. Forensic science is responsible for solving some of the most heinous crimes in history a few of which include the Boston Strangler case, which was a serial killer in the 1960s who was able to be identified by DNA evidence. In the 1980s, there was a serial killer in Atlanta, Georgia, that were responsible for 29 deaths of mostly children, and he was identified based on circumstantial evidence, but couldn't be convicted until a forensic scientist matched fibers from his hair, carpet, and dog to the bodies. Thanks to forensic science, cases which we are previously thought to be impossible to crack are now able to be solved. So what is forensic science? Forensic science and all the disciplines within the field are supported by what's called low cards exchange principle, which says when any two surfaces come into contact, there will be an exchange of material. So forensic science is the application of any science to the law which includes anthropology, the study of skeletal analysis, criminalistics, which is the science of evidence collection and analysis, digital and multimedia services, engineering sciences, odontology, sorry, which is the science of dental analysis, biology, psychiatry, toxicology, which is the study of poisons, and document analysis. It is important to distinguish between criminology and forensic science. Criminology is the study of crime and criminals and how they affect the community or society as a whole. It's a social science. It is an academic discipline. Most criminologists work in universities. The criminal justice system operates within the field of criminology and criminologists may work with law enforcement but do not take an active role in investigations. Forensic scientists work exclusively to analyze individual crimes and evidence for law enforcement and other investigations. There are two main Supreme Court cases that affected forensic science and how it operates. The first was Gideon versus Rainwright in 1963, which is what gives you the right to have a lawyer upon request regardless of financial situation. Prior to that, you didn't have to have a lawyer to present to be questioned. The second one was the Miranda versus Arizona case of 1966, which requires law enforcement to tell all suspects of their constitutional rights, such as their right to remain silent, their right to an attorney, and their right against self-incrimination. These are commonly known as your Miranda rights. Prior to these two cases, police officers relied heavily on confessions from the suspects to solve crimes. However, the increased presence of lawyers in even initial interrogations have severely limited their ability to obtain evidence from suspects themselves. Courts are also playing a greater credence on physical evidence, which has placed a greater need for scientific evidence to prosecute cases. Forensic science allows the investigators to piece together the events of the crime and can support the prosecution of the case. They can also collect and preserve evidence that will impact the ability of the case to be solved in the future. For example, DNA evidence that was collected in old cases prior to the 1980s can now be solved since DNA testing is more readily available. Last part we're going to talk about in this video is the CSI effect. CSI, the TV show, debuted in the year 2000 at about 13 seasons. 
Though entertainment about criminal justice was a mainstay in popular culture, CSI was the first successful modern show to be based entirely on forensic science investigators and led to a large increase in similar crime shows, Bones, Law and Order, Law and Order SVU, NCIS, NCIS Los Angeles, the list goes on and on. This has led to a greater expectation for there to be forensic evidence presented in all court cases. Despite claims by creators that the forensic science depicted on screen is accurate, actual forensic scientists have said that less than half of the techniques are used in the show actually exist, and most of the science depicted on the show is closer to high-tech magic in re than reality. So now you have juries that are expecting all of this high-tech CSI stuff because they've seen it on a TV show, and it doesn't actually exist, so that's making cases harder to prosecute. 